Well, it's a concept that's flopped in Metro Vancouver before, but a New Zealand-based real estate company is hoping it can make it work. Lots of things are bought and sold at auction, but what about a house? CTV Sarah McDonald reports on a budding idea for bidding on property. At first glance, this new Westminster condo looks like any other unit for sale. Two bedrooms and two bathrooms with a six-figure price tag. But take a closer look at the listing and you'll see what sets it apart. We see auctions being a really strong thing going forward. That unit and one in this building in downtown Vancouver will be auctioned off to the highest bidder next month. And what the realtors behind it are hoping is the beginning of a new trend. 2.5. Property 2 auctions in BC okay. have failed okay. before, both in Burnaby and on Vancouver Island. But it's a common concept in Australia and New Zealand where Harcourt, a newcomer to the Canadian real estate scene, is based. The reason why why we're here is because we believe that from what we've heard from Vancouver people is they want more transparency, more clarity and an easier way of doing real estate. The process is similar to conventional home sales but prospective buyers can see who and what they're bidding against in real time. At least you know what's, uh, what you're bidding against. It works down there, I don't know why it wouldn't work up here. At least you would maybe know what your competition is. With Canadian realtors like Steve Soretsky unable to divulge details on competing bids, live auctions provide transparency in an industry that's seen home sales on the decline in Metro Vancouver. If they came in last year, then, you know, I think this model would have been probably a lot more successful. And definitely there's no one really beating down doors to offer multiple offers on a detached home. It does have benefits in both markets, a rising market and a softening market. Which is why the company behind it says it's here for the long run, with the intention of making property auctions mainstream. Sarah McDonald, CTV News, Vancouver.